It's Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107.9. Reese right here locked in with you, man. I got a, hopefully at the end of this, I got a new friend of the show. Let me get this man the biggest intro of all time. I'm going to try to pull this off real quick, man. The creator of the quadruple entendre is in the building. <laughs> He's on the uh, Mount Rushmore of hip hop ballads. Yeah. Uh, the master of the wave game, everything mm. wave, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he, he's found and found a youth somehow. Mm. If you count the first freestyle on Clue, he's 21 years in the game. He's never chased the wave, but he's done it Loso's way. Mm. I got F A B O L O U S in the building. The second most famous Jackson in the music business is in here right now. Mm. Fabulous. What's popping, homie? I need that intro. I, I need that whole word for word <laughs> intro right there. Like I'm everywhere I go, I'm making somebody announce me like like that. That's with what the you Michael need. Buffer. And now, like you know what I mean, I need that. I need all of that though. But, but thank you, my brother. You know, it's it's, it's a pleasure being here and, and checking in with you this morning. No doubt, man. It's actually my pleasure, man. Like I said, I'm not. You know, there's no cab, no no plan. You know what I'm saying? We've been a, a fan of the music and the movement for a long time. Thank you. Bro. Um, you know what I mean? It's it's just my pleasure to have you in the building, man. Cause oh, like yeah. I said, you never chase the wave, and it's always like you were able to work with different artists. Mm -hmm. You able to do your own thing, but it never like felt forced. Right, and it, that's what that's what. You know, my my goal was too, like you know, even in collaborations, just good genuine energy, mm -hmm. good genuine vibes. You know what I mean? Like even with the last project I put out, Summertime Shootout Three. Right. Uh, it's you a see lot the of shirt, right? There. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. So this oh, yeah. is my double entendre right here. Yeah, yeah, Got the yeah. shootout and the jersey. I saw it on the walk -in. Right, we we we'll talk about that. <laughs> um, yeah, but you know, I just wanted it to be like genuine vibes, genuine energy. I right. think that's where you get the best music, and I and it also makes the 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 relationship better you yeah. know what i'm saying like yeah. it's not like you just calling somebody and you just want a record and then you never he hear from them again like right. you know when you kick it with somebody and nah y'all get you a vibe and you catch that vibe and yeah vibe, you know what i'm saying and that's how i like most of everything that i do but especially in music i love that man i think this is how this sounds like that's how those records that you got some timeless classics when i talk about them hip hop ballads bro yeah. like you like you link with people and y'all just make it pop yeah you know I, I, mean? I i i love i love collaboration period mm. I, I like where i'm bringing what i do and you know they bring that what they do right. and we mesh that together and, and try to make something even better you right. know what i'm saying so it's, it's 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 organic. It's genuine, and long as the music come out feeling that way, that it's always a great collaboration. Love that man. That's that hip hop gumbo right there, man. We kicking it right there with the legendary. That 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 name gets thrown around, but twenty one years in the game, uh, hella records sold. Always have classics on the radio. You could leave and come back anytime you want. It seems like. We gotta, we gotta put that legend stamp on that, man. Yeah, man. Uh, thank you, man. Uh, this has been a lot of talk about legend this week. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I seen something online of, you know, they was talking about Nip. And yeah. Was Nipsey a, a legend? And you know what I mean? I think, you know, even that word legend is, is, you know, it has many, it has many different definitions I believe that and too. different ways that you can be a legend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like when they was saying it with dude, and and I was like, well. You don't. Ju it's not just about record sales, or right. you know what I mean. It's about Legendary impact. It's about yeah, about, yeah. It could be about your impact, right? And influence the, the 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 lifestyle that you led to to be where you are. You right. know what I'm saying. So it's it's different ways to be a legend. You know what I'm saying. Uh, you know, you would look at at, at, at certain people who are legend where they never sold any records. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just their stature, just what they've done for the culture. Absolutely. Uh, you know what I mean. And I think that's why it's many definitions. Like, what would you say? You know, I mean, not to put the interview on your side, right. but what would you say makes somebody a legend? I would just say the impact and influence has to be one. Mm -hmm. I remember I heard an interview you was talking about, um, you know, the ballads, for for example. You was like, I got to give it to LL because he was the first person to do it. Right. In the mainstream, you know what I mean, to make right. it cool to have a, a hip-hop song that's kind of moist. Right. You know what I'm saying? Pause. Right. That's my word, pause. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A hip-hop song that's kind of moist, It that's a legendary to me. You right. know what I mean? So to me, I think that that's what it is. So when I uh, relay that moniker on you, I'm saying it because you've had such an impact. Thank you, bro. Like, yeah, man. And uh, man, I, I'm, well, let's talk about Summertime Shootout 3. I got a lot I want to talk about. But uh, Summertime Shootout 3, I was a little upset with you. I couldn't get past back on my bull. Like I couldn't oh, yeah. get past it. It was yeah. a lot of wordplay in there, yeah. bro. You gotta, you gotta, you might have to hit that one back and catch it. You know, I that's 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 mixtape fab, right? Yeah, there. you know what I'm saying. There's there's, there's a couple of different fabs. There's, yeah, this there's is a double album. Fab, I, we'll talk about that too. Mixtape fab. There's you know radio <laughs> fab. There's you know what I mean. But that one, that's a mixtape. So you that that joint, you might have to rewind. 
little bit. That took me back to Desert Storm days. Like a lot yeah. of bombs being dropped, Clue screaming. I got to rewind to catch your words because Clue screaming on the record. Right. Like I, I like that, right. man. Right. Bomb. See, even the word uh, and then the beat and then what you were saying, that's that quadruple entendre I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. Guinness Book of World Records, if y'all are listening, <laughs> listen to Bomb, all right? Back on my bull. And then we need it. We they gotta put you in there somewhere, man. I gotta get. You know what I mean? I I I like that. That's one of my challenges of of being an MC. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just being able to say things in different ways, and say it a little slicker than the average yeah. way. Uh, saying it a way where people have to think, or or a way that it, it, they might have not caught it the first time. All of that, like, you know, that's my challenge too. Right. Because you know, I guess doing it so long, doing it so long too that. If you just was doing it the simple way, like it might get too, it, it yeah, might, you know what I mean? you really it's challenging yourself, you, you yeah. Something else to, you know what I mean? Like to, but when I'm doing like, you know, entendres or metaphors, like right. it's always a new way to say it. It's right. always a new way to do it or a new catch or, you know what I mean? And that's kind of like a challenge for me and keep me inspired as well. I love it because a lot of times you got to listen to the bar before and two bars after to yeah. tie everything together. Yeah. You be like, oh, he, oh, 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 yeah. all right. Yeah. So I love it, man. We kicking it right now with Fab, man. Your boy Reese right here in the city, man. And listen, this album, it seemed like a double album. Mm. You know, if, if this was the CD press days, yeah. it seemed like a double album because you had like your mixtape fab, then you had the bars, and you yeah. got you got the the collabs, and then you got those ballad records. You got yeah. Chris Brown, Tiana Taylor. I don't know how you did that. Yeah. You got both of them on the same song. Yeah. You got Jacquees. You know what I'm saying? You've got yeah, a lot of a lot of dancing in that. Yeah, video bro. Like, you know what I mean? That's I what I'm saying. To the side and let them have, <laughs> let a, dance let them have a dance battle. battle. Like, you know what I mean? But yeah, I think you know. Even like I said, I I wanted also to. Um, Coming from a mixtape series, this was the, the the final installment of that mixtape series. But mm -hmm. I wanted, I think playlists became the new mixtapes of this era. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah. So I wanted it to have that playlist kind of feel. Where yeah, it was like you catch you a know, vibe and then yeah, you can move to another and, one and push it together and sonically let it vibe. So you you know mm. when you make a playlist, you that's how you vibe into it. It's a couple of different songs from all over the place, but gotcha. it's your it's yeah. your vibes. You know what I mean? So that's that's the mind state I went in with, like, you know, doing this project to feel like a playlist a little bit. Right, man. A lot of people that you do records with, it sounds like y'all should have been doing music together. That one with Meek, mm. it felt like y'all really caught one. Was y'all in the studio together on that? Because yeah, that's what it felt like. Definitely. We we actually recorded that in the same time we did, like, Uptown vibe. Okay. Because that, like, that was a vibe, yeah. bro. That was my jump for, for and, a minute. It was a lot going on in that session, too. Yeah. It was, it was <laughs> Tell me about really it. really rocking on the table <laughs> and everybody dancing a couple twerks and uh, you know what I mean so the music organically came from just the right. energy in the room you know what I'm saying a lot of you know I think uh, um that's 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 not highlighted a, a lot in the, these days anymore like just the right. energy in the studio you yeah know I mean? because now people are creating in so many different ways some people are just in a living room with a laptop in front of them making right. songs but you know the energy in the studio also was always a, a thing that could inspire good music you know what I mean and that session uh, those sessions from that time is what, you know, created Uptown Vibes and Talk To Me Nicely. Right. And, you know what I mean? It, it kind of took me back to that place. I was hoping for another, like, uh, the one, like, another collab album with you, like the one you did with, with Kiss, man. I was hoping for you or Meek to do, because it, it sounds so, like, it sounds so organic. Yeah, that, and then when I heard... That wouldn't be bad, man. I don't think you know that... I, mean? I don't want any credit just be like, yo, he the dude. Yeah, the, yeah. the ball headed dude in Atlanta. Yeah, he was like, yeah. we should do this. Somebody, That's all uh, I need. Yeah, all right. You're going to be like... You gonna take your hat off right, right. there, like, like you heard him say the boy dude from me. Atlanta. It's me, yeah. right? You know what I mean? We kicking it with Fab right now. We talking about summertime shootout three, man. Um, what was like one of the ones that that you just knew on this on this record? Like you just knew as soon as you heard it, like, oh, I I gotta do this one. Um, I would say too late. Uh, the last joint with Jeremiah, right? Uh, it actually started out in a, a different direction because his hook, uh, you know, was saying too late, but it was saying uh something a little bit more um i guess sexual yeah but when i heard it i said i hear something else in this music mm. and the feeling of this hook and um uh, i took it and talked about you know my situation i put my right. kids on the record i like love I, that bro you know i love I mean? that like yeah I, I i felt a different energy from it you yeah. know what i'm saying so we kind of like uh took the part out of the hook that he was you know yeah. he went left a little bit right now uh, you know we kept it in my direction and it was something that i wanted to speak on and um just, to, just that was one of the like, you know, cuts that I felt like I also um, put together. Like yeah. I, like I, like I, 
like I said, I took it from being one thing and said, let me fit it to me. You yeah. know what I mean? What I want to speak on and what I'm about. And um, I love how you address it, too, because it's like, why would anybody ask you about it? Just go listen to the record. Like, right. you addressed it perfectly. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got your family on there. Yeah. The kid. I don't know how you got your youngest son to say something. Yeah. I got to drop with my kids. Yeah. And my youngest daughter, she won't talk me, when she comes up here. Part about it. I try to do it organically at yeah. first. Like, I try to, like, I would be around them and ask them something and just be taping with my phone. Right. But it wasn't working. <laughs> it was, it was right. like, they was I just saying, pain, like, brother. stuff. Like, yeah. that wouldn't work for the record. So right. I eventually had to say, you know what? I need you guys to go right. in there. And, and, and the baby, I just got him, like, you know. To say something. To say something. You know what I <laughs> mean? And then I was able to use it. But it's also something to me that meant a lot because, like you said, your children are getting older. Right. Uh, you know, your music always lives forever. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're going to be able to always hear that and hear their perspective as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. And I love just incorporating them in, into into that. I hadn't did that a lot throughout my career, so yeah. it, was, it was it was one of this was a time that I felt like it was needed. You know right. I, mean? I feel like through your career, you did a great job of uh, just kind of separating like you from the music. But you, it seemed like it wasn't never a stretch with you doing yeah. the music. It felt like oh, that's dude, that's yeah. him, that's all him. But you wasn't really, you know, what I'm saying too far, and giving people all, too it's, much. It's actually changed in time a little bit, time too. At the beginning yeah. of my career. You know, it was more mystique to me because you kept things separate. And right. Other. But as things became more social and yeah. social media and the social skate, now your family and stuff is in yeah. people's face as well. So, you know what I mean? It's, it's like... It's part of your brand, even, right? It, yeah, it gets... Yeah. It, that's another thing. It becomes right. part of your brand, but it's also just harder to, like, separate the two. Right, you know right, I mean? right. So it kind of runs concurrent. And, you, you know, it's also growing now as a man, it's a part of your everyday life a little bit. Right. More. You start having children. At the beginning of my career, I didn't have no kids. Right. You know or even my relationship was in a very young state, so it right. wasn't even that much to talk. But now, you know, after all of this time, you're having kids, you know, that's a part of your everyday life. You right. You know what I'm saying? So, and, um, you know, you share it in the music. You share it. You, you see it on social media. You see it when, you, when you're when moving around. You right. You know what I'm saying? So um, I think it was it was... Part of you know the game opening up is opening up to that too because in the beginning you know you didn't see nobody nah. wives or you know kids right right right, right. you didn't even know who was married or yeah had kids didn't or whatever know Jaru was married like, right you know what I mean things was you know everybody was just an artist and, right and now it's opened up so you know I think it's definitely only right to include and and you know share certain things but you still have to keep certain, certain things, things right for yourself you still yeah. have to keep. Uh, a privacy, uh, a certain level of privacy, and you also have to worry about the. Cause sometimes your family don't want to be in. Yeah, the, like, you know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, I like, get it. Not, they, it. There's certain people who don't want that attention. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. So you also have to be mindful of that as well. I can imagine, bro, because I'm like nowhere near the status that you are. But sometimes my kids be like, people be asking me for stuff because yeah. they know who you work at a radio station. Right. So I can imagine how that could be right. like. You got to play that game. You right. know what I mean? Even them going to school. Right. Or, you know, <clears throat> people know who their parents are. Right. You know what I mean? It's it's a, it's a different upbringing. So you know what I mean? You got to be. Uh, careful of that and that's why I'm also you know protective of that too. yeah like not even just being careful of it but like protecting it too because they still need to be able to be kids need right. to be able to have some you know normalcy to their life as well you mm. know what I mean and and some of that gets taken away from them without them yeah being, some of that innocence you know, too yeah right you know right. what I mean Right, we kicking with fat. We talking about family stuff right now, man. We uh, we are gonna get back to this music too, but but a lot of the stuff that you are saying and portraying in these records, bro. Like you got some lines. Like wh what was one line from any of the songs that you was like, "Ooh, I just I really just put that together." Mm. Um, cause I know the drum when you was talking about uh, I I can't remember the exact line, but you was talking about uh. The, the chicks, where the chicks, like, she gonna try to curve me, but, like, come on, man, like, it, it was crazy. Yeah, I think, I think one thing I do is try to shed things on, on shed light on certain perspectives Yeah, that I'm thinking or what other people are thinking. Right. Like, that's another thing about being on social media. You see a lot of people's opinions and what they're thinking as well, you know, whether yeah. they memes, whether they captions, whether they, you know, whatever it is, even the comments under your, under your pictures. Right. So, you know, I try to touch on that. One of the lines I, um, even going back to the Too Late song, one of the lines I say is, uh, 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 real love don't fade, real friends don't shade. You right. Know what I'm saying? And I was, that was coming from a place of like how I, uh, like, you know, how I felt. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, I think Frenemies, you, you got real in-depth on them, them yeah. those Frenemies songs like that too. Frenemies was another one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, 
you know, even down to uh, uh, Cold Summer, the, mm. the intro. Yeah. You know, just saying how um, um, they was giving Mika L, said he wouldn't prevail. Next thing you know, that boy was in the championships. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it was like they was counting him out because, mm -hmm. you know, the whole situation with the Drake B. Right. And, you know, he had broke up with Nicki. Right. And different little things like that. And then he had to just get in his own, get in his bag. Right. You know what I mean? And, and, and got there. with the album. Right. And now all of the, you know, at, uh, now all the doubt, all everybody again, like, you know, yeah. they're supporting you. The whole right. Time, they're like, you know like they've been there. Yeah. For, yeah, I yeah. get it. I, I, I definitely get it. It's part of the it. game, though. You know what I'm saying? It's part of, you know, your 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 your, your story. You know what I mean? Whether right. it's a comeback story or you just keep kept going, it's, it's, it's part of the story. So, you know, never get discouraged by it and say, you know, you know, everybody wasn't there for me, and it makes make you make yeah. you go down. When everybody ain't there for you, all right, yeah. it's time for me to be there for myself. Yeah, you, know? you you seem to do a great job of that. You also seem to do a great job of just, like, bigging up other artists, man. I see on your page, you, you post other artists. They yeah. drop albums and stuff. They yeah. might not be label mates. It just might be something you like, man. Definitely. It just well, makes it's you... mostly mutual, like, people that I, that <clears throat> I, that I rock with. cool that, that yeah. I'm cool with and rock with. You know, if they celebrate a project, like see, want to see your friend uh, uh, win, win, yeah, that's it. You that's know what I mean? Up. I want to see you succeed. I want to see you do your thing. So you know, you drop the project, congratulations. You know what I'm saying? And I yeah. actually check it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I ain't even like some people just throw your shit yeah, up. Yeah, they you know well, I mean? like, listen to it first. Make yeah, sure <laughs> I want to check it out. So that way, if I want to drop something about a certain song in there, right. like, you know what I mean? I, I right. give all of that energy. So. You know what I mean? I, I I don't think that I don't even look at it as deep as people even like yo like you know what I mean like it's really cool that you you know that nah, you, you like, just I being you just like, doing just, your yeah, thing just just showing love and yeah congratulating and keep it pushing really like that's you know what's what I mean? up I'm I'm like that that stuff like that it works for me too like I'm glad you dropped the music now you here with me because I really listened to the hours like sure. I told you I was mad because I couldn't get past bomb like yeah. I couldn't get past it sure. I was like it was just is crazy yeah. I had to run it back like this okay. This is what we missing, you know what I'm saying? Did you know where that that sample was from? The, yeah, uh, the Bulls. Oh, Come yeah, on, yeah. bro. Like back on my bull, using yeah. '96 Bulls. That was the greatest team of all basketball in the '90s. Right. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Then you got the word play. You talking about the players? Like it's crazy, bro. Then you had the line about uh about the Greek freak. Come yeah, on, yeah, man, getting yeah, the big bucks. Like, yeah. It's great. Like yeah, it's your fault. I can't yeah. get past it. Nah, that that, <laughs> that joint. You know that was something that when I was growing up. You know, like you said, the Bulls was the, was the, was the squad. Yeah, that was a squad. And like you know, I always had that in my head and always remembered it. And I was just like, yo, yeah, man. I, I, at one point, I always I thought about doing it, but I thought it was too hard to clear or yeah, like, you know what I mean? Because yeah. it was how big it was and I was just like, eh. But then we just came around to it and we shot we got to it and it went it worked out. So, you know what I mean? And I just I just love also that it's a relatable sample that people yeah. go here and take them back. Yeah, yeah, you know exactly. It's some that, that good nostalgia, you know what I'm saying? It's like you're gonna Perfect. get fab, you're gonna get this, we're gonna remember the mixtape days and man, it's crazy. Man, talk about this this album well, well mixtape, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. series. It, it like you said earlier, it's like a playlist. But what's on Fab's playlist? Like what do you listen to? Um I listen to I like I like I tap into some like different moves. So like I I'll tap into like a two thousands vibe. Okay. Where, you know, I feel like the music, you know, the the nineties are always saluted for what right. it was and it was a golden era of hip hop, but I also feel like the two thousands That's when a lot of money was getting thrown it, around. It boomed, you know what I mean? We had <laughs> yeah. a lot of records that really were, were big records. Huge records, and, yeah. Um energized to what is going on now. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is the second half of the two thousands that you know, from two thousand to two thousand and ten and then now this two thousand and ten to two thousand and twenty. Right. And I think, you know, a lot of what was going on in those early two thousands sparked to where we at today. Yeah. And um so I'll catch that vibe. Of course, I love my 90s vibes, too, because that takes me back to when I was like a teenager growing right. up. Kind of what inspired you and listening. What it, yeah. yeah. What kind yeah. of ruined me. And then I also uh, vibe with, you know, what's going on now. You know what I'm saying? I got an 11-year-old son. Like, he'll be next to I feel like he and like A&R some of this album. Yeah, I feel like he did. Well, he definitely be like, you know, even the last project, when I did, did, did the dream with Uzi, he was like, yeah, that was a good. That was. A good <laughs> you got some cool points. Yeah, you know what I mean? like, <laughs> he's told me this this year. He was like, yeah, I think you need to do one with Trippy Red, man. And yeah, it's like you know what I mean. So I, I, you know, he's eleven. So that that also his opinion means a lot to me too because right. he's 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 representing the young hip hop. Right. You know what I mean that, that growing that growing energy that's in hip hop. You know how they always say, um, 
you know, they always say hip hop is a young game, but I believe now it's 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 broad and it's young and it's, it's old. Oh so yeah, because it's it's been around so long. So we grew up on hip hop. They're growing up on hip hop. The next generation under growing them up. will be growing up. This is like the only up. era I think that you could have a parent and a kid listen listening to the, to the same, same genre. Yeah, and wearing the that's same clothes the first, though. Yeah, that's one of we one of the first generations of that. You know right. what I mean? Before us, our parents. Uh, there was a disconnect in what they thought yeah. was cool and, and what, what we music did. they listened to. They like, turn that hip hop, like, yeah. listening to that. It's too <laughs> right. much cursing for them. It was like, right. Whereas now, we've grown into a generation now, we're the parents and we listening to the same music. We might even, you know, I took my son to a Travis Scott concert. He wow. wanted to go to Travis. I, I know the Travis Scott music. I know, uh, you know me, I know right. him as well. So it was like, all right, let's go. And, and when you could go out. backstage, you get extra cool points with the kids, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I get it. I, I, and I'm. <laughs> And I and I take my cool hat off. I take the fab hat off yeah. when I'm in that situation. My son, like he know, he loves to go to the All Star game. I take it, pictures of him with the, with the uh, with the athletes, That's with the ball players, and you know what I mean. Like, I I always just let him have his moments. That's another thing Dope. too. Like you know, to keep his normalcy. Like I don't want to be be like yo. I can't take a picture of you know. Yeah. Uh, I'll do that's whatever that's dope that you can separate it like that, bro. Like being it, like I say, everybody knows you. Everybody knows you as a legend. Mm -hmm. Athletes and hip hop kind of like mesh together, and for you to be like be able to bridge that gap, and then take yourself out of it for your son, bro. That's that's beautiful, man. For the kids in the family, period. That's beautiful, man. What, you, man. What's like yeah. the biggest, like the most, I guess for this year, maybe what was like the dopest thing for the for the family, for the kids, for you? Because I I just want to like big up that you a father, you black, you, you know what I'm saying? Like you doing a family thing, and, and that's one thing I, I really like to pinpoint. Um, one of the biggest things, man, is um, just just really re really reconnecting and 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 tapping into home and family. Like you know yeah. what I'm saying? I I like. I've done a lot of things throughout my career. I've done a lot of things, you know, musically that, you know, uh, I'm proud of. But that's one of my, you know, proudest moments, too, is just, mm. um, like, even down to doing things for my son and, and, and letting him grow into the man that he's going to be. You right. know what I mean? That's, you know, at age he is now, he's still, he's still a young boy, but I feel like he's planting the seeds for yeah. what, you know what I mean? Even just teaching him things and letting him see, um, you know, family structure, mm. see, you know, working through whatever is going on. A lot, a lot you know, I'm glad like, you said a you lot know, of us didn't love, see that. Yeah. Right, you know what I mean? And, right. and especially even around and what's in social, you see that kids are impressionable. So they, yeah. whatever they see in two, you know, how you they see them people acting blueprint. with each other, how they see people acting on the internet. Right. You know, but I would like, I love that he's getting to see certain things home that's, you know, helping him develop as well. Right. And um, that was one of my proudest things uh, for this year. That's dope. I see them rushing me out, man. I only get fab like once once in a lifetime interview, so I got to uh, ask all my questions. Nah, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, point, but bro. I appreciate it, man. But uh, I, I'm, I'm going to get to this. What would you go back? If you go back to 1998 after that Clue Freestyle, right? Mm -hmm. You right now, what would you say to that fab walking out of that studio? Um, I would say keep thinking like you were. At that time, I was thinking. Put my put my most into it. Put mm. the most you can into this opportunity. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't, I didn't know when I would get an opportunity like that. I wasn't used to getting an opportunity like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So and you was up there with Nori. It was a lot. Yeah, Cause I know that was a lot going on like for you, you at that age. One time, I think I rapped. The second time, I just went. Yeah. They didn't even you just tell jumped me. in. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, Nori stopped rapping. I could I tell. Just, I, I could tell, like, how you, and like, the energy was a little kid. bit more like, I got to shoot yeah. my shot. I was like, this is this is, this is a shot. This is my shot, and mm. I'm going to shoot it. You know what I mean? I I had a lesson like that with my son where we we went to the All-Star game in, in um New York one year, mm -hmm. and um we were sitting on the floor, and, you know, when they came out at halftime, mm. you know, shooting around, I guess, like a warm-up kind of thing. Right. And uh, Steph Curry threw the ball on my son and was like, you know, take a shot or whatever uh -huh. like that. My son was like, nah. So I'm like, yo, you know what I mean? You know, I'm thinking he playing, but I'm yeah. like, yo, go take a shot. He's like, nah. So he dribbled the ball around, threw it back to Steph. So, you know, at, after that, I'm like, yo, why you ain't take a shot at half, mm -hmm. halftime, man? That's a shot. I'm I'm there with my phone ready right, to get the right. yeah. <laughs> he, he throwing him on away. So he was like, you know, I I didn't want to, uh, Papa, I didn't want to, I didn't want to miss. You know mm. what I'm saying? I ain't want to miss in front of all them people. I was like, man, how you know you was going to miss? Right. I said, you don't know you're going to miss until you take a shot. I said, right. it's 50-50. If you can miss so you can make it. Mm. And I said, um, he's, I said, right? He, he's like, yeah, all right. I, um, 
He said, he said, all right, next time. I, I said, when the next time you're going to get a chance to shoot with Steph Curry? Right. He said, I don't know. I said, exactly. Mm. And that's the lesson in it. Like, you don't know when the next time you're going to get a chance to, whether you're going to miss or make it, you don't even know when you're going to get the opportunity to take that shot again. Love that. So I, like, you know, made that lesson. I, and he sat there. He was like, yo, you, yeah, all right, all right, I get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I was mm -hmm. like, yeah, don't be, don't be afraid of uh, opportunity. Take right. the opportunities. Make the most, do what, the most that you can. Shoot that shot. You know there what I'm saying? Is. There if it you is. make it, you're going to feel good. If you miss it, you can still say, yo, I got to shoot, shoot with, with Steph, Steph Curry. Curry. Come on, you know that's the story. And, 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 and you made the most of it. You you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So that's 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 the that's the thing I would tell scrolling all the way back. That's what I would tell my young self. You know what I'm saying? Keep making the most of your opportunities, man. You on the right path. I love it, man. Fab, we appreciate you, bro. Love, man. Appreciate the music for Already, real. Man. Appreciate everything, man. Peace, there it man. is. And Thank that's you. a that sound like part of the book, man. Yeah. Don't waste some opportunities. Yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a opportunity is 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 a, is a thing man it's mm. it's one of the greatest things you could give somebody too you yeah. know what i'm saying you give somebody an opportunity to 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 you know you know a lot, a lot of people come up to you and say they want to do this and they want to do right. that and you give them an opportunity to do it now it's on you yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. it's all you after that there it is man fab i appreciate you once again man it's hot, hot 107 now we gone got you